welcome to episode 10 of the Dear to Me Knits podcast. My name is Dearney. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Dear to Me Knits. And I also have a Ravelry group, the Dear to Me Knits podcast group. And um, today I'd also like to introduce haha, Kara. Kara is our new American Sign Language uh, interpreter that's going to be on uh, all my episodes now. Very excited about that. And um, yeah, I, I'm very happy to start doing this and I really hope that it can um, expand the resources for some deaf and hard of hearing um, knitters out there. So yay! Um, I don't have any finished objects this week. Um, I spent the weekend in Indianapolis. Um, my husband and I went to Irish Fest, which is um, a yearly tradition for us. We've gone every year since the first year we were dating, and um, it was so much fun. Um, there was lots of music and all kinds of um, marketplace goodness and everything. I got a couple of new rings I can show you. So I got this ring. It's a moon and a star. And it reminds me of my dad and my grandma. Uh, so I thought that was really neat. And then this ring is just like one almost that my mom had when I was a little girl. Um, and she wore it so much that it literally just fell apart. So it reminded me of her as well. And so those were my purchases there. And um, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of knitting done because there was just so much festival goodness. It took all my attention. <laughs> Uh, it was a, a long drive there and back, so I did uh, do a little bit, but no finished objects. So I'll get into my whip, and I will warn you that this is probably going to be uh, a short episode. I don't have a ton of content. Um, I do want to cover the knit-along that we are having in the podcast, in the Ravelry group. Um... And I will talk about that after I finish up my acquisitions. So I am working on my entry for the um, Make Nine Knit Along that we're doing together. And I am making the Granito Sweater by Hohi Locatelli. Um, well, it's backwards. Um, so it's a drop shoulder. And actually I have a sleeve started on this side. Uh, it's a drop shoulder, long sleeves. It has this really nice slip stitch detail um, on the front and down towards the hem there are um, pockets. So I'm super excited about it. I am using Sweet Skein of Mine um, fingering weight yarn in the barn board colorway held together with a strand of um, Drops Kid Silk in just white. And um, I don't know what this is on my chin. It's bothering me. I think it's a zit. <laughs> I just noticed it. I'm like, where did that come from? I didn't have that an hour ago, I swear. Um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I initially thought the pattern called for sport weight yarn, um, but I was wrong. Fortunately, the uh, the fingering weight that I was using is on the lighter side, so I still got gauged quite easily um, holding the mohair with it, and the halo on it is just beautiful, and I love it so very much. The colors, everything is just, I love it. I love it very, 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 very much. So um, I cannot wait to be done with this sweater, and I've been working on it exclusively. I haven't knit anything else. Uh, as soon as I finished last episode, I was like, the cat is on! I've been dying to cast this sweater on and I don't want to wait another second. So I got straight to work and that's all I've knit on. So that's all I have. I'm sorry. I'm boring. <laughs> Hopefully this is just like the most exciting thing you've ever seen because it's all I have. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I really love it. Now, um, I stole a tip from Amy of the Stranded podcast. Um, she 
knits her sleeves as soon as she gets a little bit done after she joins in the round. Um, and that helps with, you know, like you have to twist everything around to go around the little circumference of the sleeve. And that just reduces the amount of bulk that you're flipping all over the place. So that's kind of what I decided to do. And I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. It's, oh, I wish I could try it on. Um, the only complaint that I had about doing the sleeve before the rest of the sweater is finished is that my stitches kept wanting to fall off my needles um, that are around the, I don't know which body of the sweater. Um, so I got a hold of one of these little doohickeys and that's, it's pretty tight. Um, so I don't have to worry about the whole body of my sweater like running away on me. So um, yeah, it's working out really, really well. I can't stop holding it up because I'm just like, look, look how good this looks on me already. <laughs> I'm never taking this sweater off once it's finished. It's going to be so comfy and beautiful. It's the most perfect, neutral, just like speckly, tweety looking, amazing everything. And I, oh, I just love it. Oh, I just love it. So I am so excited about this sweater. And, uh, yeah, I really need to get to work on my brother's, um, chalk bag for his rock climbing chalk that he uses. The yarn for it is right here, right there. And, uh, yeah, I haven't done anything with it because, ho oh, he sweater. <laughs> so, yay. Um, but I did get, um, my wool swap package, so that was, oh my goodness, that was so much shenanigans. My wool swap partner, uh, was from Sweden, which I was stoked about because I've never had an international partner before, um, and usually we do fiber share, not wool swap, but we gave wool swap a try, and, um, I thought it was a lot of fun because fiber share matches you with two people, one that sends to you and one that you send to. But wool swap, like, there's only two people, and they send to you, and you send to them, and, um, yeah, it, she and I still talk all the time. Her name is Ellen, and she's the sweetest, and she has two little girls, uh, who are also stupid, just, like, amazingly adorable. Um, so, yeah, the, I... I don't have words, sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, forgot how to talk. <laughs> um, she sent me, like, I don't, she sent me coffee. She sent me chocolate, which, I mean, like, she wouldn't even have to send me yarn if she sent me coffee and chocolate, you know? But, um, <laughs> but she did also send um, yarn that I have been dying for, and it's kind of hard to find in the States. Um, so I, I literally fell over. Uh, we were video chatting with her when we opened the box and I just, I was like, ah, and back I went. <laughs> she was like, so you like it? <laughs> I was like, yeah, sorry, I'm obnoxious and this is amazing. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, okay, so I'll do what Lydia got first because she was sweet enough to send amazing amounts of stuff to both of us. She sent Lydia, I don't even know how much candy. Oh my gosh, that child has been on a sugar high for like a week and a half now. But, okay, so she made Lydia this bag with her little tag on it, handmade by Ellen. It's so cute. I love it. Uh, has a little drawstring on it and um, these fabrics together I just love I love these fabrics together this reminds me of Alice in Wonderland um, like the the Queen of Hearts I really like it or like playing cards I love that fabric it's so cute um, she got two um, two little I think they're 50 gram Yeah, 50 gram balls of um, like sport weight. It's called 
Sports Straw, Sports Rog, um, in her most favorite colors in the entire world. I mean, Lydia, the, the entire universe would look like that if Lydia had anything to say about it. So she loves the colors. And then she also got a little weaving loom, which I am probably going to steal because I like it. Um, the, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I bet I could use that cotton scrubby yarn that I got <laughs> with this and make, uh, make the cloths. <laughs> this is the first place my mind went. But so it's got, it's got the little tamper bar thing and, um, yeah, instructions to make a little... I'm covering my face. Sorry, instructions to make a little uh, little wall hanging. I just think it's the cutest. And I really, really like it. So, sorry, it's super crinkly too. I hope that's not bothering anybody. Um, but yeah, so that was Lydia's. And like I said, she got a ton of candy too, but that is all completely demolished. Um... And then she made me a bag as well in that fabric that I love Ooh. with her tag. I love those tags. I want some. Um, obviously, like, with my name on them, <laughs> I like them a lot. Um, so the first thing I got out of the bag or out of the box was spinning fiber from Limo Design. Or, yeah, it's design. There's like a sticker over the end. Limo design. Um, it's called Hit, Hit and Dit. I'm not sure if that's a play on words in like Swedish or what. Uh, but it's 85% merino, 15% bamboo, 100 grams. And it's the, the amount of color in here is amazing. There's just like blues and this, oh, let me see. Yeah, I like this plum and then there's like pink. There's like two or three different colors of pink. Just so many pretty muted colors. I cannot wait to turn this into yarn. It's so soft too. The, the merino is super soft but the bamboo gives it like, it's kind of hard to tell, like kind of a little bit of sheen and also bamboo is slick, so this stuff is just gonna fly right out of my fingers. I'm so excited. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. Um, well, I don't wanna just throw it on the floor. Okay, I'll put it on my basket. Okay, um, and then I got not one, not two, not three or four, but five balls. Of Rama Finogarn. I I I am so excited. <sighs> okay, so and they're all look at this. Hang on. They're all different colors. So my thoughts are this this probably isn't enough for a sweater for me because nobody else gets to wear this but me. Uh, I'm going to grab some neutral and do like a bodacious yoke or like color work stripe thing. I'm going balls to the wall on this right here. I love these colors together. This and this and this and this and this. Although just, I'm just like, and this one goes with this one, and this one goes with this one, and this one, and they all go on me. I got Rama Fienelgarn. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, uh, I have one more acquisition. I don't know if you noticed, but I went to Ikea for the first time ever, and I got a Kalax. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip you up so you can see. It's not the best angle, but but I'm just 
so excited. My craft room looks like a real craft room and not like I just moved into my my boyfriend's bachelor pad and I'm trying to like make do. <laughs> oh, I'm turning into a real knitter. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Sorry, nitpicky with the angle. Um, so excited. And I was telling my mother-in-law, like, I don't know if you can see, because obviously I don't have Kara interpreting while I'm talking. So she's probably going to be in front, but like this, this is empty. And all of my yarn is on the shelf. So I'm like looking at it like I needed a bigger shelf because all my yarn was just falling off the shelf. And it was like, I hate this. I hate it's a mess and I just get frustrated with it and I don't even want to clean it up. And I just need something better. I need a better solution. So I went and I bought this shelf. And I was already like, next next year, the first of the year, I'm on a yarn diet. I have to go on a yarn diet. I have too much yarn. Um, it's just, it's getting out of, out of hand. I really need to work through some of my stash. No, I don't. I don't need to go on a yarn diet. I just needed a bigger shelf. <laughs> Now everything is good again. Look at this is my this is my sport weight yarn. Look how much room. I can buy so much sport weight yarn. I got a whole empty hole here. I can put anything in that hole. That's my my sense of humor coming. I can put anything in that hole. <laughs> no, I'm so yeah, I love this shelf and I probably will do a little bit of yarn dieting next year. Just, I really do need to work through my stash. Not because of buying habits or whatever, like running out of room, but just because um, I bought yarn specific, with specific intentions and then like got distracted and never made those things. And they are things that I actually do want, um, which is part of the reason I'm doing the Make Nine Along uh, because I, I mean, I really do want the stuff that I bought that yarn for. Like I want the end result and I want the the experience of making it too. So um, I just need to like reel myself back in and get refocused on, um, on some knitting goals there. Um, but yeah, so um, speaking of the Make Nine, um, that is still going on. It started two weeks ago um, and it is, has it been two weeks? It just doesn't feel like it's been two weeks. Wow, time flies, man. Um, anyways, so um, it's been going on for two weeks. I don't even have anybody joined yet. So I already have for sure um, my lovely friend Robin of um, from the south of home. She makes gorgeous project bags. Um, she is donating um, two project bags for the giveaway. One for the 150 grams or less group and one for the 150 grams or more group. And I'm in talks with, um, with a couple of yarn dyers as well. So uh, there's gonna be prizes and right now there is zero competition. So get on it, y'all. Um, you can enter as many projects as you want. The only rules are um, it has to be a new cast on and it has to be on your Make 9 or in your queue prior to you casting on. Um, yeah, knit or crochet. I'm, I'm down with either. I'm by Stitchual myself. Um, and so, yeah, I, I really want to, uh, to see some action uh, in those threads. So get in there. Um, and I do have one thing that I wanted to say. Um, last episode, I had hashtag make nine cal as our as the hashtag for social media. And there's already a hashtag on Instagram that has a lot of those of posts. So I'm gonna change that, which it doesn't matter because nobody even has used it yet anyway. Um, to make nine along, hashtag make nine along. And then also, if you share on social media, um, if you want to 
do my hashtag as well, hashtag dare to me knits. That would be awesome. You know, get my name out there, make me some new friends and stuff. Um, yeah, that would be super cool. And I am really looking forward to seeing some people um, hop in on the action. Um, this is my f hosting my first knit along, so pity join. <laughs> um, make a pair of socks, come on. Um, or a hat. It'll be fun, and you'll you might win stuff. <laughs> also, um, a little teaser. Probably next episode there will be a giveaway. So um, yeah, that'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, once again, uh, Robin from from the south of home. Uh, she has an Etsy shop. Um, she is going to, she has decided she'd like to um, donate some things to me as a giveaway. She just recently opened her shop, so she's looking to get her name out there, and then she's like, hey, that's a win-win, because if you share it on Instagram, then you'll also, you know, get more followers and potential viewers that way, and I'm like, sounds good to me, let's do it, girl. So, yeah, um, I don't have a lot for you this week, except make sure you tune in next week. Um, but yeah, all her bags are super cute. I want, like, most of them, so <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Um, I think that's all I've got. 21 minutes! Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's going to be my shortest episode to date by a long shot. Wow. Well, I guess, I guess we'll put it this way. Since since Kara has been lovely enough to do this for us, um, how sweet of us to to make the first episode just like super easy. We're easing her into the crazy, aren't we? <laughs> um, I really can't think of anything else to talk about. Uh, oh, um, so I have started doing a live knit together night on Instagram every Monday at nine o'clock. So. Be there or be square. It is so much fun. I've had just a blast, and you know my 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 good friends always make it on to see me. Um, and my mom even joined the first time, which was super fun. Uh, we got to have a brief history lesson on how she made up my name, <laughs> and um, yeah, lots of people pop in, and and we have lots of chats about what we're knitting and. Um, pot, what podcasts we like and what TV shows we've been watching. It's just fun. It's just basically chatting and hanging out, which is something that I don't get to do a lot of in real life. So I love it. And um, I, I, everybody is invited to join in the, in the discussion. So I really hope that you will take me up on that. Um, unfortunately, since it's live, I won't be able to have it translated. But um, there is still, I mean, I'm the only one talking out loud. Everybody else is typing. So you can kind of keep up with the conversation a little bit. Um, and it would just be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I forget what else I was going to say. It, it's, it's late. It's, you know, it's 9 o'clock. And um, my daughter has seizures. <laughs> she has epilepsy, so we had to drive three hours one way and three hours home uh, for a half hour neurology checkup today, so I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'm sorry, this has been a really, uh, a really crazy episode even for me this week. <laughs> and really short, because apparently I just want to get it done. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm sorry, this is just a little fix of crazy this week, um, <laughs> but I really appreciate you joining me, and as always, you are so dear to me. Bye.